I've got another parallax scrolling tutorial for you guys who are using Adobe Muse CC. Today I'm going to show you guys how to pull this off, this appearance of sliding panels that slide up the browser and lock into place once they get to the top. It's a really cool effect, really clean, really elegant, a great way to convey information, good for photographs. Let me show you guys how easy it is to do. So I've got my tutorial document here which just has some images dropped on to this page and there's nothing special about them they're just images that all happen to be the same size and uh, let me make sure I scoot this one to the top and now they're kind of all lined up with one another nicely there's no other setup that's going on here so we're really starting from scratch so now what I want to do I want to select all of these images I just hit command A to select all and I'm gonna go up to effects at the top and I'm gonna make sure I'm on the scroll motion tab of my effects I'm gonna turn on scroll motion the key position I'm going to leave alone because I'm actually going to have to do this individually for each one, each uh, image that is, or each slide if you're using uh, text boxes or shapes or anything like that. Now the motion before key is how the object is going to scroll before I tell it to scroll differently. So I want it to scroll normally. That's the number one. A speed of one is normal scrolling. So I'm going to say scroll at one, zero for side to side. I don't want it moving side to side. And then after it reaches the key position, we're going to have it freeze, zero, zero. That means it's going to stop scrolling. And we're going to make sure it does that when it gets to the top of the browser. And they're really just going to freeze on top of one another because these images are all in a different position as far as the Z index is concerned. Uh, they will be in the order that you add them in uh, as far as the more recent images being on top. Uh, but if you do want to be sure that everything is going to stack up in the right order, visit the Layers palette on the right-hand side, uh, if you have a position on the right-hand side, and just click on the triangle next to your layer and verify that these things are in the order that you want them in. And again, the order that you want them in is the first object should be the furthest back, the second one should be the next on top, then the third and the fourth on top and on top, uh, etc., etc. So what I want to do now, if I move this image down, you can see there's this little T-shaped handle sticking out. That is the key position. And with the key position, I want it to be at the very top of the image. If it's at the very top of the image, then the image is going to freeze when the very top of the image gets to the top of the browser. That's what that little T represents. Where will the top of the browser be when this object freezes? And the answer to that for each of these is going to be the top of the respective image. So once I get these all locked down, there we go. I think I only had four of them. Very good. Now if I preview this in the browser, everything looks normal. And as I scroll, scrolling at a speed of one, that first object, since the top of it is at the top of the browser, is past the key position and therefore is scrolling at a speed of zero. So it's locked in place. So the next one scrolling at a speed of one until it gets to the top of the browser, freezes at a speed of zero, and so on and so forth. It's a really, really neat effect, and you could even pull this off backwards if you want to and make it look like you're revealing what's underneath. I think that's a, an even cooler way to do it, to be honest with you. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe. I've got plenty more coming soon.